All right, lesson seven. Welcome to the great state of you. Anthony Robbins, notes from a friend. Lesson seven. Welcome to the great state of you. Most of us feel life the way we feel, the emotionally affect the way we feel physical, we feel physically. But a few of us realize how powerful the reverse is true. But when we are moved with the physically, we move with the emotionally too. But the two cannot be separated. We almost realize that the motion is created by the motion, but the way we move through, with the changes, with we think, with the feel, with the hate, with the moment, the movement effect of our body chemistry, with including everything in the more physical activity, such with the running, clapping, jumping, through the smallest moving. Movements from the muscle of the face, how the person depressed, for example, to look to you, if you have the demon depressed, how you use your own body look, and in order to be able to depressed, don't have the you the body in a certain way, most of you do, with your shoulders show, slouch forward and pull them back, and the answer is obvious, isn't it, what is in your head, what, where is your head down, where is your eyes down, is your breathing cell, in order to be depressed, it takes effort to you know what you're like, when you're depressed, because you've practiced it in the same point in the past, haven't you, we all, even, we all have, even Charlie Brown. Here's the interesting thing. While any of the merch, uh, many researchers have studied how the body can be affected with emotionally, one recently have become interested in how the emotions affect the body. The body. One of these studies conclude that it's not significant to know them that we can smile when we feel good or laugh when we're good. We're in a good. Um, Spirits know that the smiling and laughing set off of the biological process that, in fact, makes us feel good. That they increase the flow of the blood to the brain and change level of the oxygen level of stimulation with the brain's mastery of the neurotransmitter. The same thing happens without expression. Putting your facial expression, physiology, um, of the fear and anger of the disgust or surprise that you all that you what that's what you'll feel. All right, so Charlie Brown, this is my depressed stance. What are you depressed and makes you a lot of difference how you stand. The worst thing you can do is straighten up and hold with your head high and because of that you start to feel better and he says, um, you're going, if you're going to get any joy out of getting, being depressed, you've got to stand like this. Right, years ago, one of the most important waves of the change of the life, of the change of the pattern, of the, the wave, of the move, of the way, I gesture, of the way I spoke. The first I thought of the was kind of simply a little like putting on airs. Um, but what I was found was the moving in the body with the newest wave of the literally sending a message through to my nervous nervous system back into the brain. What I expected from the myself will begin to change my feeling with the mindset will begin to think of a more dynamic thought will take more powerful positive the aggressive the action but secret it was doing the concisely deliberately within the beginning of the ultimate and until these unfamiliar movements became my own eventually I didn't think about it but they any of the more I was acting they were simple powerful with the position um, positive the habits within the mind of the nervous system my movements were simply copies of the what I had seen the other extremely come up with the people to do all I did was and then mimic with that um them with the same kind of intensity with a force this gives me a whole new look over the life and it has also made me much more persuasive that I was able to start positively influence Influencing not only without myself but also my friends and business associates. So maybe that sounds overly simplistic to you, but the change of the way you move, then you'll change your life. But absolutely accurate. The bigger the change that you're moving, the bigger the change in your emotions, actions every day. But the ever is a suggestion. The next time you shake, you start to feel frustrated, jump up for a second and shake your body out and take a deep breath and put a silly grin on your face for a good reason. And ask yourself, well, what's so great about this? What's crazy about this? What's funny about this? What's the, what? Will this problem that even matter ten years from now? Changing both your physiology and your focus will put you in a much better state of the mind with new outlook you can handle with whatever is bothering you with a more much more effectively can you think of someone who moves in a way that you'd like as your are you there are there are there friends family members teachers and actors of the dancers speakers or other powerful role models that you can in, 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 in imitate and imagine this person even if you're not so accurate I'm sure exactly how this person was moving to speak with the kin come up with a good idea supposing your star quarterback you've just made the Winning touchdown with the Super Bowl, how would you walk with the wood? Um, would your would your head be down or your shoulders slumped over? No way, you'd be strutting. Your whole body would stay. I'm the greatest, and with the change of how they feel, with the what would you? No doubt about it. You find um, that by moving the same way that someone else does, the real start to have the very very much with the same feelings right now before you go on to the next chapter try to stand up ask you if you're reading this page think about the goal and desire you have something you really want to have with happening in your life as you think about it and start hoping for it to stand the way that you stand when your hope 
when you, when you hope when you're not sure of if things will work and work out you hope it works and you don't hope it doesn't get screwed up and then how do you breathe it when you're fo- when you're not sure when when you're just hoping when does your face look like when you're hoping what are your fe- your shoulders when you're hoping where's the weight in your body where do you picture when you're just hoping you can achieve the goal do you see it working also not working try it now don't just read these words on the page all right, now imagine that you're worried. Deliberate start of worrying about your goal. Just a few moments to see what you have to do with your body. What do you what do, you do with your hands to get worried? What happens to your shoulders? Do you have any tension within your body? Do you slow down or restrict your breathing? What happens with the muscles in your face? What does your voice sound like when you're worried? What do you do? In the, what do you picture? Do you see it only not working? Do you see the worst case scenario in your mind? And again, and actually put yourself in this state with now and notice what whether what you do with your body and are ordered to feel worried. Now get out of that state and start feeling certain. Think about it with the goal of the right now with the breathing and saying the way that you would if you were absolutely certain you could achieve it and how you would stand if there were no questions in your mind whatsoever to what would you add and posture be put yourself in place now even as if you read these words. How would you breathe? What kind of the look would you put on your face? What do you do when your hands, when you're absolutely certain you're going to achieve with what you want? What is your posture like now with a very different from the hope and worry, isn't it? Where there's weight in your body with this balance, whether we're really certain that you're probably feeling quite good, quite grounded and centered. What are you picturing? I bet you don't see it. It's not working, but only see it in working. Um... How can you feel with this at work at this way every day? Find those who are successful, mild with the physiology, over their confidence, with the gesture, with their breathing, their walking, but yet mild with the physical movements for that you use yourself when you're, you're in peak state with the mind of the emotional. You'll find that this is not just a game, but the way of tapping into the amazing intelligence that is built into every cell of the brain and body. You'll see, you'll sell with the same seeds over the movement and breathe that you will reap the similar rewards. And as long as you're meeting the role models of the conflict of the success and inhabitants, do not just notice their physiology, but also begin to listen to them, listen to the structure of their language, and you learn to develop lesson eight, the vocabulary of success.